Hey, what's up everyone? I appreciate you stopping by my channel, Chef A-Bomb. Today we're going to be making some apple pie, and I'm not talking just, you know, shitty apple pie that you're going to, you know, come across anywhere you go. I'm talking about the real deal. This crust that, that I have, the crust recipe that I have, is literally the best tasting crust that I've had my entire life. And anybody that tries it says this, says the same thing. So what we're going to do is first off, let you know how I got this recipe. Now I got this recipe because it was my great grandmother's. She lived to 106 years old. And not only did she make pies with it, but also my grandmother, my grandmother's sisters, all her daughters. So all my aunts, everybody has made these pies throughout the years. And around this area, everybody knows them for it. And, um, uh, now I got it and what's great about that is I can show you guys how to make yourself some real pie you know not just you know, go to the store buy some junk that's already made you're gonna make something that you go anywhere and bring this people are gonna appreciate it and know that you really put some time and effort into it now it's a real simple recipe but it's got an ingredient in it that I would have never expected to find into the crust now this crust can go uh, savory or sweet I have it for apple pies, pineapple pies, blueberry pies, all this stuff. Or I can do like chicken pot pie, you know, beef pot pie, you know, anything savory that you want to put that type of crust on the top of. So basically, um, let's get started. Okay, everyone, here we go. Now the ingredients are as follows. Four cups of flour. One tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of water, and we are also putting in some shortening or Crisco, whatever you want to use, one and three-fourths cup, one egg, and for the secret ingredient, vinegar, one tablespoon of vinegar. And we'll start off by mixing all the dry ingredients, and here we go. All right, everyone. So... Like I said, we'll start by adding the dry ingredients. Here's the four cups of flour. And I'm just gonna sift it through here to get better results. Get all of them clumps out. There we go. Set this to the side. And then we're gonna add our sugar. Try not to spill it. Our salt. Spilled the salt. That's okay. I got some more right here. We'll just add it right there and we'll clean up the mess later. There we go. Okay. And then we're gonna mix this real quick by itself. And then we're gonna add the Crisco. Now you pretty much want this mixed until it looks like tiny little grains here we go set that to the side and we're gonna get going mix in here try not to get too much out now in the end you're gonna need a little more flour after we roll it out and do all that good stuff to it but today i'm just teaching you how to make it and in the next video we'll go more into rolling it out and making pies and stuff because this is still gonna have to sit in the refrigerator for a half hour or so just so it gets cool you just want to incorporate all that loose flour in the bottom Then as soon as you think you got it all mixed together, it's going to be a little clumpy like that. At first it's grainy, then it turns kind of clumpy. And now we're going to take, get this stuff off my hands. There we go. Now we are going to take in another bowl. We're going to add 
a half a cup of water, a tablespoon of vinegar. There we go, a little bit splashed in there too, so we'll call that a tablespoon. And one egg. Spoon down. That's okay though. We got our one egg. We're almost one egg there. Alright. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add it right to the flour mixture. Just like so. We'll go ahead and grab some gloves again. And the gloves are good to have so that way I can switch them in and out real fast. And don't make a mess of my hands. Now, if you guys haven't already, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to do that, guys. It definitely helps with the algorithm. I'm trying to get this channel growing. Incorporate all the dough together. To me, it's feeling just a little bit, just a little bit, uh, moist, I guess you could say. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle just a little more flour on there, like so. And then that'll come right together much better. Now, when you roll this out, too, you're going to be adding flour to it, like I said earlier. Now that I get the majority right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just knead it on the table. Get that shit out of the way. <laughs> All right. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna cut it up, probably into three pieces. Actually, you know what? We'll do it into four, and wrap it up with a little plastic. Guys, I'm telling you, this is the most delicious crust that you'll come up with. It's flaky, it's, you know, it just breaks in your mouth, like, in the best way. I don't know how to describe it, I guess, but it's so good. I mean, it's the pie that you are going to want to taste. And I think we're going to do three. That looks good. Like so. Those have got to get wrapped and put into the fridge. And we're grabbing the wrap now. You just want to get them chilled. It's a lot better for rolling and consistency. Just like so. Sorry about the mess on the tables, guys. Or on the table. That's just how I do it sometimes. One more. There we go. Just like that, they're going to go into the fridge, guys. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And you will see uh, all the good pies I can make. And everything I can come up with with this. But... Let me give you another little spoiler here. We got another video coming out where I'm making banana bread. So this is some homemade banana bread. 
I got some with chocolate chips and stay tuned for that. I hope you guys like that and I hope one day you actually decide to make it maybe today who knows stay tuned for the next one like I said and I'm gonna show you how to make some apple pie and uh, maybe some more you know I guess I got a pineapple here too maybe I'll make a pineapple pie I don't know um, but yeah like share follow guys all that good stuff or not follow I'm used to the TikTok, I guess like, share, and subscribe. We're on YouTube. That's right. But no, check out my TikTok too, guys. I do a whole bunch of different shit on TikTok as well. A lot of lip syncing, some comedy videos, a little bit of singing. You know, kind of some of the stuff that you can't really do on YouTube because of the uh, the music and stuff. But uh, do check me out, Chef A Bomb. Please subscribe to this channel too. I'm really trying to get it to grow. I want to give you guys new content all the time. It's pretty much always just going to consist of parts of my life and what I got going on. But hey, thanks for watching this one.